Hey folks, it's Jared Manninen from the website TahoeTrailGuide.com. Today I want to talk a little bit about the idea of using one set of skis for both groomed and ungroomed terrain. Having worked in the cross-country ski industry at Lake Tahoe for a number of years now, I always get asked this question, hey, I just want to buy one set of skis and I want to spend a lot of money. What would be the best option if I want to buy skis to use at both a groomed resort and off track in the back country? A lot of people ask this question for obvious reasons. They don't want to have to put out a lot of money for different sets of skis for every type of skiing that they do. But I would say that there's not one good ski that's going to work both on a groomed terrain where there's the tracks, the parallel tracks that you classic cross country ski in, and then taking that ski off trail into the back country. And the reason I say this is it's like just about any tool. You can get a multi-tool that's good for many different jobs, but chances are it's not really going to be good at doing any one job in particular. So a lot of the entry point backcountry or off track varieties of cross country skis start somewhere around 62 to 68 millimeters wide. And the tracks at a groomed resort are just barely 70 millimeters wide. So in certain conditions, you're gonna end up potentially pinching those skis in those tracks. On top of that, these uh, off track skis, and I'll show you the bottoms here, have a very aggressive scale pattern or grip zone. They don't have a double camber usually, which is more ideal for a groomed resort because it allows you to go faster. You don't drag the scales nearly as much as on these uh, off-track skis. And that may sound appealing to some people because they don't want to go very fast. But I would just recommend if that's the case, Take lessons, learn how to stop, turn, going downhill, that sort of thing. It's so much more enjoyable when you use the right tool for the right job. And having long, skinny, double cambered track skis at a groomed resort is the ideal situation. Here I am classic skiing at a groomed resort using a low end pair of track skis that are about 52 millimeters wide. groomed area that you saw me ski in on at the beginning of the video here that's just been tracks laid by other cross-country skiers and that's totally cool when they're present but that's not always the case and I usually don't expect them to be there unless I'm the one who laid them uh, earlier in the week or something like that but I wouldn't take the set of skis that I use in groomed terrain my track skis that are 192 centimeters long and about 41 millimeters wide. I wouldn't even bother taking them out here. I'd be more afraid that I'd break them because they're so skinny and long. Uh, not to mention, they would just be really frustrating to try to break trail because they are so skinny and they would cut through even the, even the lightest amount of snow. My technique is good enough that I can pull it off, but I'm not gonna lie. That was a struggle just pushing through that little bit of dry, crusty snow on those tiny little skis. I generally prefer to use those 62 millimeter off track skis during spring conditions when everything is firm and uniform. So as you can see, I kind of broke my own trail there. And this snow has been wind swept, wind scoured. It's kind of all over the place. It's not super deep snow, but even using just these little 62 millimeters, I'm not doing very exceptional technique out here. It's pretty challenging, but with the wider sets of cross country skis for the back country that I own, an 88 millimeter and a 112 millimeter, I can actually diagonal stride pretty well over variable terrain like that without puncturing into the snow or torpedoing the tips down beneath it or anything like that. These are actually a set of big backcountry cross-country skis. They're 112 millimeters wide and more ski than I need for this little amount of snow. But I'm having a blast on them because they enable me to zoom along without fear of sinking into the snow. I brought these smaller skis out here today 
just to kind of illustrate a point because this is essentially as small as you'd really go to try to meet both needs of being in a groomed resort's tracks and being outside off track. This kind of works today, but I will say that it's a lot like snowshoeing with skis on right now just because they are struggling to get through some of this deeper crust layered snow. So I don't want to encourage you to go out and buy 10 different sets of skis for every possible snowy condition, but just know that if you do look to buy one set of skis to meet all your needs, mostly you're not going to meet any one need very well. You can ask any alpine skier the same question, they'll tell you that they probably have like five, six, seven pairs of skis to meet certain snow conditions. It's just a reality of it. And that's not to say, you know, you couldn't make one work. It's just, you're not gonna have as good a time in all of the different conditions with one set of skis. I'm gonna go ahead and yo-yo back and forth on your screen while I give you a few of my recommendations for buying cross-country skis. You probably get the point that I don't really recommend just buying one set of skis to accommodate all of your needs. But if you did, I would say buy the ski that's going to accommodate the style of skiing that you're primarily going to do. And then just make do in the other type of terrain. So for example, if all you plan to do is ski in the meadow by your house a few times a year, go ahead and buy something that's pretty wide, like say a 70 millimeter or more but then don't plan on being in the tracks when you're at the groomed resort. You don't have to actually stay in the tracks when classic skiing at a groomed resort. You can classic ski in the skate lane. If you plan to primarily ski at a groomed resort, I'd just say go ahead and buy that track ski. And if you decide you wanna go in the meadow by your house, for example, just make sure you're really careful with those skinnier track skis. If you had access to both groomed terrain and ungroomed terrain, I'd say, if at all possible, buy that set of track skis for the groomed area and then get a pretty wide ski for the off-track area. You'll be able to cover all your bases just with those two sets of skis. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any comments or feedback, please post it in the comments section below. And then go ahead and check out my website, tahotrailguide.com. Thanks so much. And go ahead and check out my website, trail guide. Oh, my lips are getting cold. <laughs> <laughs>